What's going on guys? Stall Tactics is back with another video. And uh, as it was highly requested from, uh, I believe his name on YouTube is Bo. From Bo, he really wanted to see the LA Kings. And uh, as we know, I listen to my comments and I make videos on them. So today we're gonna talk about the LA Kings, the line combinations for them, as well as fantasy for this upcoming season, 2023-2024. So without further ado, let's start off with uh, last year's stats. So last year, LA, uh, they, they, I, they squeaked in the playoffs, but I think they lost first round, if I remember correctly. I think, I think they still went to game seven, though, against Edmonton, if I'm not mistaken. Game six or seven against Edmonton, and then they lost. But so last year, here's the points there. We had Kopitar 74, Fiala 72, Kempe 67, Arvinson 59, and like you could see the rest. You can pause it if you want to look. But uh, very interesting team here. Uh, they made a couple moves in the offseason too. You're not going to see Velarde anymore, and you're not going to see Ayafello. They were traded to the Jets, and they acquired Pierre-Luc Dubois. I believe the, the total trade was... Pierre-Luc Dubois to LA, and then uh, Velarde, Ayafello, Kapari, who might have been a prospect. Is he on here? No, right here. Rasmus Kapari right here. And a second round pick in the 2024 draft to the uh, Winnipeg Jets. And then uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois actually ended up signing a uh, big ticket with the LA Kings too. He signed eight years, $68 million. I think it comes out to eight and a half mil annually, which is like a lot for Pierre-Luc Dubois. I'm not going to lie. Like, um, what were his points last year? He's 25 years old. Last year in 73 games played, he had 63 points. So not a point per game player, but he is on the Jets too. Like, I'm sure he could pick it up on the, the Kings now. But the only thing is, uh, I think he's, here's the lines here. I, yeah, he's going to be playing second line center there. And uh, he's not even on the first power play as of right now. That that can definitely change. But I don't see him taking uh, Kopitar, Fiala, Kempe, or Doughty spot. Maybe Arvinson, but Arvinson was lighting it up there in the playoffs too. So I, I think he's going to be stuck on the second for a while. Um Let's see their lines here. So Byfield, Byfield's definitely breakout candidate this year. He was drafted in the 2020 draft, second overall. And uh, so that was like this draft of like, it went Laugh, Byfield, then Stutzla, then Raymond, then Sanderson, then Drysdale, then Alexander Holtz, Jack Quinn, Marco Rossi, and Cole Perfetti. So obviously from that draft, like Stutzla broke out last year. Raymond had an unreal first uh, season, and he kind of had a bit of a slump last year, but he could probably bring it back. And then Laugh's, Laugh's kind of stuck on like that third line in New York, but I think maybe he'll get moved up. Anyways, you can check out my New York Rangers video if you wanted to hear about, more about that. <clears throat> but yeah, so Byfield second overall, definitely a breakout candidate. He's 21 years old now, so... It's, it's about time. I think last year he suffered injuries. I think he only played, what was it, 53 games or something it said. Uh, yeah, right there. 53 games played. Definitely could do get a lot more, especially if he's on that top line with Kopitar and Kempe. Kopitar is getting a bit old, though. 36 years old. He's still, like, I'm not going to lie, my last two or three years, I was worried I'm taking Kopitar. And then I finally took him last year in my fantasy and he did not disappoint i got him like eighth or ninth round or something and he did not disappoint well he still did great good last year for points uh so you can see here he had 74 points in 82 games that's still so solid plus 20 if that matters for any of your leagues or not but yeah so the la kings i think they're a very underrated team obviously their top guy is going to be fiala fiala is like their uh he's going to be their guy that goes over a point per game Kempe too. Kempe's still actually really young. Kempe's 27. He was drafted in the 2014 draft, first uh, round, 29th overall. And uh, he, he put up 40 goals last year. He's the goal scorer. He's the guy they look to on the power play. He's the guy they look to on even strength. He, he gets the goals. And as you can see, he had the best plus minus on the team too. So that's solid. Definitely look for Kempe in your drafts. I'm, I always have him start. I, re, I always want Kempe. He's a solid pick. I think I got him like third last round last year he's just 
He's just so solid. He's always in that top six. You always want people in that top six. But yeah, that's pretty much sums up the forwards. Uh, I don't really look too much into the third and fourth lines for fantasy, but as you can see, these are that they have predicted for the season. If you're just curious and you're a huge LA fan, <coughs> Bo. <coughs> Anyways, so then we got our defensive pairings here. We got Mikey Anderson, Drew Doughty, uh, Gavrikov with Matt Roy, and then Jornfoot and Clark. Now, obviously, the only defense here I'd, I'd look for for fantasy is probably Doughty. Um, that's just, I don't know. Their defense aren't the strongest. I don't really know anyone on here other than Doughty. And Doughty's still a young guy. Thirty, Well, not young. He's, he's 33, but that's usually when defense starts to like light it up. Like, look at what, what Eric Carlson did last year. He's probably around the same age. But, uh... Yeah, so that's like the lineup here. Power play, Arvinson, Kopitar, Kempe, Doughty, Fiala. Yeah, just Fiala. I think he's ranked like 50 on the thing here. Oh, he's ranked 68 in the top 250. That's a steal. That's a steal. I think the LA Kings are so underrated going through this season. They have so much potential. Like, they still have that top defenseman. They got Pierre-Luc Dubois now. He's rocking the second line. Kempe's just getting better. Kopitar is a bit old, but he's still maintaining. Fiala's in his prime. And then you got Byfield, who's definitely a breakout candidate. Definitely look for their top six in fantasy this year. I think they're underrated, especially Fiala. Fiala, I will definitely be looking to take a couple rounds earlier just, just to have him on my team. Because I, I know it's like a guaranteed point a game player for sure. So as you see, they, NHL has Fiala ranked 68. Definitely take him a bit higher. Kopitar 76. I think that's about right. I mean, he's probably going to be just under a point a game like this year. Like he's probably going to slowly decrease, maybe. Uh, who else is on here? We got Kempe. Definitely go for this guy. This is this this guy's a stud. 40 goals last year, and he's ranked 87. Come on, come on, man. I'd rather have freaking Kempe over Mark Stone. Mark Stone's such a band aid. I'd rather have him over Bertuzzi too. Um, then you got Pierre-Luc Dubois. I, I definitely like Kempe more than Dubois. Just because Dubois doesn't get the first power play minutes. Um, who else is on here? Doughty, 115, as he should be. Uh, not Wheeler. Uh, Arvinson, well, he's on that first power play, so that, that could be a steal of a pick if he, if he continues to do well in the power play. Definitely a good pick there. Uh, then Talbot. Oh yeah, they picked up Talbot in the off season too. That's gonna be <coughs> that's a good starting goalie now because they never really have. Him. They had Quick for the longest time, but he got hurt, and then they always played with like a backup kind of. So it's good they finally got a starter. Uh, Dano there. He's gonna be your second line. And then after this, like I wouldn't even worry about these guys. Brent Clark. Clark. I guess he's a rookie. I don't see him taking Doughty's spot, but I did see him on that second line power play. So definitely know the wordy, uh, worth noting him just in case Doughty gets hurt. He'll definitely probably take Doughty's spot. And that's it. That's, uh, that's it for the top 250. But yeah, anyways, just to sum it up, LA Kings, definitely underdogs going into this season. I think they slightly improved in the offseason, especially with Byfield getting older. Fiala's getting used to being there. Kempe's used to being there. 40 goals last year. I could see him putting up 40 yet again. If not, maybe even 50 if their team's slightly better, right? But uh, yeah, that's probably going to wrap up the video. Uh, sorry there was no face cam in this video. I'm, uh, I'm working out of town. If you could tell, I got a stuffed nose right now too. I'm a bit sick. You don't want to see me anyways. But yeah, I'm working out of town, so I just brought my mic and my laptop, and I'm just cranking out videos as I can. I wasn't even gonna, didn't do this one, and then uh, Bo there in the YouTube comments uh, really wanted to see the LA Kings, so I, you know, I was, just, I was like, you know what? Screw it! I'm gonna crank out this video before bed. It's 9:30 p.m. Got to get up at 5:45 for the gym, and we we made it work. But uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I'll respond to every single comment. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next ones. Peace.